Hello everyone. Hello everyone. This is Indai and Brian. Welcome to our channel Revelations where you can see a lot of uh, words of God that he revealed to yeah. his son. So we're so thankful that you're with us uh -huh. and uh, if you will uh, we'd love to hear more comments. We've gotten a few comments but we would really love to hear that what God's speaking to you putting on your heart so if you'd write down your comments and we could get some more feedback and uh, also uh, share with your friends, your family um, and uh, subscribe. subscribe. Yeah, so like. if you subscribe, it, it'll really help this channel grow. And uh, that's what we've been praying that God will really grow this channel and uh, God's word and uh, his vision will go out because uh, without the lord's vision the people perish yes and stay with us yep stay uh and be blessed it it'll probably be about a half an hour today and uh we just want everyone to be blessed by the word of the lord and uh we have a song coming up so so i i hope this blesses you and uh so we'll go into the word now okay so uh right behind me you'll see is the national emblem the national symbol for russia and uh, god showed me this a couple months ago he showed me and uh, i just release it when it's uh, the right timing so what it is is uh two eagles and there's a there's a emblem in the middle a man on a white horse and he's uh so what God showed me is he showed me these two eagles and he, he took it and he, he ripped it in half. So those are, those are God's hands and he's taken it and he's ripping that national symbol in half. And it, it kind of makes more sense right now, especially what's going on in the world with the Ukraine. Um, but what I like to say right, right up front is we're not against uh, Russia, we're not against the Russian people. Uh, we're supposed to love our enemies. Mm -hmm. So, but there are so many brothers and sisters that are in Russia, and uh, like I said, there's there's so many Russians that are trying to get out of there right now because their economy is not doing very well. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So it's just like China. Uh, in China, there's so many brothers and sisters in China. In anywhere you go, there's Christians. So we're we're not against um, flesh. Flesh. We're we're against principalities and wickedness in high places. And you can see that in Russia right now. Um, uh, it seems like Putin had a plan to come into Ukraine and take it over real quick, but it's not working out very well. And uh, we've been getting lots of reports of angels <clears throat> and angelic uh, visitations on the Christian people. The church is praying yes. for the men in combat. And uh, they're having divine help come at the last second. Uh, there was a young man and he called his father. And his, he, his father got the church praying. And there was a whole column of tanks and, and armor coming against them. And they were, they were, all of a sudden, they were just wiped out. And they don't know how or, or if it was artillery or what was, they, they can't, they don't know. All they know is it was a miracle because they were, they were all going to perish. That's a question spring. And, and then there was a commander. He was commanding his men. And all of a sudden, he started praying. And God told him, get out of there right now. And he, he he was told by God to get his men out of that area and away from that building. And right after they got out of there, that whole place was, was bombed out and they all would have died. Uh, so, so God is on the throne and uh, we'll go into the word now. And uh, so, yeah, you can turn it off now. And uh, so in Daniel 2.19... So, Daniel 2:19 to 23. So, in Daniel 2:19 to 23, 
Then was the secret revealed under Daniel in a night vision. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Daniel answered and said, Blessed he the name of God forever and ever, for wisdom and might are his. So Daniel always glorified God. He's basically all prophets. We don't know anything. Okay, so we don't know anything unless God tells us. And even when God tells us, we're like, uh, I'm not sure what this means. But see, when you're a servant of God, you got to say it without knowing sometimes. Because he knows, we just know very little. We see through a, a glass darkly. So anyways, uh, this is what uh, God told Daniel. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and he set up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge unto them who know understanding. He revealeth the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth in him. I thank thee and praise thee, O God, of my fathers, who has given me wisdom and might and has made known unto me now which we desired of thee. For thou hast now made known unto us the king's matter. So, so prophets, a lot of times, they're dealing with kings or politicians, leaders, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so... Uh, you're dealing with, uh, right now, you're dealing with lots of leaders that are having lots of problems, whether it's uh, Prime Minister Trudeau in Canada, or it's Biden in America, or it's uh, the Ukraine president, or it's uh, Vladimir Putin in Russia. Okay, so let's, let's go to uh, Romans 9, 13, 24. Okay, Romans. All right. Romans 9. Okay, Romans 9, 13. And it says, As it is written, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. What shall we say then? Is there... Is there unrighteousness with God? God forbid. For he saith to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but God that showeth mercy. For the scripture saith, Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power unto thee that my name might be declared throughout all the earth therefore hath mercy on whom he will have mercy and whom he will harden so so we remember that pharaoh's heart was hardened in egypt and god used that to display his glory mm -hmm. meaning god knows how to separate the wheat from the chaff so what you have going on and it's really interesting because in the Ukraine you have the wild, uh, the sunflower. Uh, it's they produce more sunflower oil and sunflowers uh, than than most uh, nations in the world. So they're known. Even their uh, their national flower is the uh, sunflower. Uh, it's the symbol. So uh, and there's an interesting. Uh, vision of the sunflower and revival coming to the Ukraine. So uh, a lot of people would say, well, it doesn't seem like revival. All the media talks about is how, how Russians are destroying the Ukraine and Ukraine is fighting back. But this is all the natural and the supernatural, the, the spiritual realm. Uh, God, there is a revival going on. There, the people in the Ukrainians' hearts uh, God is finding uh, good soil. There are many Christians and many Jews that live over there. 
and there there is a revival going. People are they're leaning on God. They're praying to God, and there's there's so many miracles, signs, and wonders happening in the Ukraine right now, yeah. and the whole world is pouring out their love for the Ukrainian people. Why? Because they're fighting. They're fighting back against evil tyranny. So uh, God, and, and this is interesting because it says God hated Esau, but he loved Jacob. Jacob. Well, God is the one who decides because he knows the, the beginning from the end or the end from the beginning. So he already knows which way people are going to go. And uh, he, he blessed Jacob. Okay, Jacob had to go through a lot of hard stuff, but in the end, Jacob was was really blessed, and um, he was the seed of promise. Okay, so uh, so what if God is willing to show his wrath and make his power known, endured with much long suffering in the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, and that he made known the riches of his glories? On the vessels of mercy which he hath pre afore prepared to glory. So in the New Testament, it talks about vessels of wrath and vessels of glory. And uh, that's what you see right now. You see uh, people standing up fighting the good fight in the Ukraine. And they're, they're not just fighting with bullets. They're fighting a spiritual battle too because you're talking about uh, spiritual principalities of wickedness that are coming in. They're territorial mm -hmm. spirits. And they're coming in and they're fighting. And what they're coming up against is they're coming up against God, the hand of God, angelic visitors to the Ukraine that are pushing back. There is a war in heaven that people don't see that's going on. And it's been going on all over the world. There's been battles. But even... Even uh, before all the earthly ones, there's there's battles in heaven that are happening that are unseen. And what God showed me earlier today is that, yes, the Russians are invading the Ukraine, but people can't see the unseen armies of God that are protecting. There is revival coming to the Ukraine, and it will be done in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah. So let's go to Genesis uh, fifty fourteen, and we'll we'll finish up. So here we go, Genesis fifty. It's right at the end there. Okay, there we go. And Genesis fifty, and let's go to fourteen. And Joseph returned unto Egypt, and he and his brethren went up to him that buried his father and buried his father. And Joseph's brethren saw that their father was dead, and they said, Joseph, pre-adventure, he will hate us, and he will certainly requite all the evil that we did unto him. And we know the story of how Jacob was thrown down the well by his brothers, and they wanted to kill him. But then one of the brothers said, no, we can't do that, so let's sell him into slavery. So he was sold into slavery. Uh, he became uh, the main guy in Potiphar's house, and God raised him up there. And then he was charged uh, for something he didn't do, and he went to prison. And then God raised him up in the prison, and then the, the, uh, he, he went to the Pharaoh's house because uh, he, he could tell what dreams meant okay so he was uh he was a seer prophet himself god would give him dreams and he could tell what was going on so then he was raised up as basically like the prime minister of egypt he was second in charge and he had to go through lots of suffering but in the end he raised him up to the position that god wanted him to be in and so we see this happening all over the world you see these yeah nations that are fighting and a lot of them there's lots of christians and they're going through all the suffering but in the end revival is going to come 
And I say this for you personally, that your revival is going to come no matter what you're going through, what kind of long suffering you're going through. Uh, you're waiting on the Lord. Yeah. You're waiting to see his promises be fulfilled. Well, they're going to come true and they're going to be fulfilled. You just have to keep on with your good fight of faith and it's going to come forth. You're going to be like Jacob. You're going to be like Joseph. And God is going to lift you up to the position that he has for you. And don't give up. Don't give up on the promises of God. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we see also it goes to, uh, so, so shall you say that Joseph forgive, I pray thee now the trespass of thy brethren and their sin for what they did to you was evil. And now we pray that you forgive the trespass of the servants and God of thy father. And Joseph wept, and they spake unto him. And his brethren also went and fell down before his face. And they said, Behold, we be thy servants. And Joseph said unto them, Fear not, for am I in the place of God? But as for you, thought of evil, your thought of evil against me, but God meant it for good to bring to pass as it is day to save much people alive. So we see lots of evil things happening. This is a great example for us in our lives personally mm -hmm. and in uh, national life that God lets evil things come to pass because he foresees the events down the road. Yeah. He foresaw he needed to get his people out of Israel, out of a drought, into a land that would have plenty. Egypt became the place which saved basically the world as it was known back then because it had a, a worldwide drought and people came from all the nations of the earth to get wheat. And that came out of the revelation that Joseph was given by God to save up uh, during the seven years of good of, of fullness and they saved it for the seven lean years of famine so all of that wisdom and knowledge came out of god so all of that came out of uh, his brothers turning against him and selling him into slavery so god does allow things to happen because he knows in the end that that bad will be turned into good so yeah. So Joseph realized that, and as brothers and sisters of Christ, we have to realize that the things we go through is for a reason, because God sees your path down, down the line, that if you're going through a rough patch right now, what I would say is you got blessings coming. If you're going through a hard time in your life right now, and things are tight financially, or any, any place in your life, it's because blessings are on the way. Okay, God is going to lift you up. So I just love, I love this teaching. Uh, we can see what's coming to the Ukraine is a full-blown revival. We're talking about thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people coming to the salvation of the Lord. Miracles, signs, and wonders, it's already happening. And it's going to be to glorify the world. So he'll use an evil king to do evil things so the power of God can be shown and glorify our God who is in heaven. So praise God. Jesus' name is the highest name. We just give him all honor and praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for this word. Bless it to your people. Praise God.
together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to His purpose. So, whatever Amen. is going on around the world, um, we have a we have a big God. We have a great God. And, and it's not just the Ukraine. This is happening everywhere. Yeah. This is happening in our personal life. We have struggles. We have battles. We have things we're going through. This is this is for everyone. I heard about people they are um they're afraid and scared oh what's gonna be happening it's wait don't be this. afraid so whatever happens in this world if there's a world war three we'll just uh we're not be afraid because Look, god is with us and i i would say uh you know don't be emotional don't be emotional about the enemy wants to get us in fear yeah and we need to be in faith that god has everything figured out he's well able to take care of all of the brothers and sisters, no matter where they are, if they're in the Ukraine, the United States, the Philippines, uh, China. So God has a strategy and it's going to win over the enemy strategy. Mm -hmm. So we'll pray for our brothers and sisters in Ukraine and um, we'll lift them up, mm -hmm. you know. Yes. All right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So, Hallelujah. Lord, just everyone at the sound of my voice, Lord. Thank you, and Jesus. Hallelujah. Those brothers and sisters in the Ukraine, Lord. And we just ask for Praise unity. You, Jesus. Unity in the body that we're all we're all united together with Christ. Christ Thank is the you, head and we are the different parts of the body, but we are all brothers and sisters, all of us. And Lord, we just thank you that you're going to pour out your grace, your unmerited favor. Yes. And you're going to make Hallelujah. a way. Thank you, Jesus. You're going to make a way for each thank person. You, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, whatever they're going through, Lord, whatever trials Hallelujah. or tribulations, Lord, if they're thank you, Jesus. in a natural war, Lord, or a spiritual war, Bless and you, usually Lord. it's both, Hallelujah. Lord. We just thank you, Lord, that you're going to make a way, Lord. 
that we rebuke the enemy off of our brothers and sisters. Yes. We rebuke oh. sickness. We rebuke the In devourer off their finances. We rebuke the hand and the works of the enemies in yes, Jesus' hallelujah. mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Your name is the highest, hallelujah. Lord, hallelujah. and all must bow to Jesus. the name of Jesus. Jesus we honor you. Yes, we, we thank you, Lord, Lord, that that you, revival, Lord, is coming to us personally and hallelujah. as a body, hallelujah. Lord. Not just in the Ukraine, but in the Philippines, yes, Jesus. Lord, hallelujah. in America, in Canada. All over the world it's coming, Jesus, Lord, that you're hallelujah. pouring out your spirit. There's thousands of people being born again in America. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, that you're pouring Jesus, out your spirit. Hallelujah. And that hallelujah. you're going to use all things, bad, good, anything, Lord, you're going to use it for our good because yes, you have a hallelujah. place for us. You, you have a path for us and you're lighting the path thank for you, us Jesus, with your word. Hallelujah. In Jesus' hallelujah. mighty name. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Jesus. So whoever right now, whatever Praise you Lord. need, give Thank it to the Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Give it to the Lord. Yes. He's so close to you. Thank this, you Lord. He's so close. Just pour out your love. Call on Him. Call, yes. on, call on the name Ooh, of the Lord. Pour out your, and if you're not sure your, about yes. your salvation, pour it out, Lord. it's good to know Him. Yes. Invite Jesus to come yes, into your Lord. heart. Thank you, Jesus. He is the one that oh, died. Thank you, Lord. He bled. Yes. He poured his blood Thank for you, our salvation. Praise you, Lord. And we pray that right now Thank you, Lord. that the blood of Jesus will protect everyone. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You're so good to us. Hallelujah. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Bless Praise everyone. You, Jesus. Bless everyone, Lord. Thank you. Provide Lord. all their needs. Praise you, Lord. Heal that are, heal those that are in need of healing. Thank and you, Lord. thank you, Jesus, that even thank for you, those Lord. that suffered. Yes, Lord. Um, discouragement that you yes, will Lord. you will give them some courage, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. To face this world. Praise Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. Yes. We give Jesus. you all the honor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, praise you, Lord. We give you all the praise. Yes, Lord. Your name is to be exalted Thank above you, Lord. every Touch other your name. People. Heal your people. Your name is to oh, be exalted. Praise you. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. We praise lift you. your name on high, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Praise you, we Jesus. give you all the praise and praise honor. Praise you, Jesus. Praise Hallelujah. you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We hope that you guys are blessed. Blessed. And thank you so much for Jesus staying name. with us. And uh, staying with us. But before we we end, we Amen. will say uh, we will do a shout out to people, our friends. <laughs> this is the only way I can. You know, I'm far from all of you guys, especially yeah. in the Philippines. So this is my only way of saying, you know, um, just shouting out your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I hope you all understand. All. We're 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 far in 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 distance, but not in spirit. Yes. So. There's no distance this too far. This is a way of getting all my, you know, the feelings of missing you guys. Yeah. So, hello to all my cousin, Medisa Hamil and the kids. Mm. She has lots of cute kids. <laughs> Hi, Ding. Yeah. Hope you watch this video. Amen. And to Jovelin Patentes. Thank you, Lord. Hi, Jov. How are you doing? And to Jin Jin Patente, uh, Patalinghog and, and the rest of and her family. Oh. God bless. Isibu. God bless. And to Pastor Annie Maginda uh -huh. and family. And to all my nephews and my nieces. Mm -hmm. And um, especially to Mary Grace Carnese and oh. her family hey, and to Mary. Ephraim. Yeah. And uh, to Pastor Nistor Miharis. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, hi Pastor. All right. And then to our Kamotis brothers and sisters, I miss Kamotis. Oh. To so Stella Lucero. It's pretty and warm there. Cornelia Miao, to Gigi Miao, and to Pastor PG Utida. Hi, happy birthday, Pastor PG. Happy birthday. Hope you guys God are bless. doing well. And there, hopefully, when we come visit the Philippines, we will visit Kamotis. I remember Kamotis is a nice place. So hot. I'll nice. say hi to Brian and Karen Rose. God bless you guys. Hey, Brian Rotola, God yeah. bless you. And and 
Carol, we saw you earlier today. God bless you. Uh -huh, and to the ladies group. Yeah, to the ladies group, all, all you there. We just pour out God's blessings upon you. Keep praying, you guys. Yeah, yeah. God, God is going to lift you up. Uh -huh. We'll just uh, thank you for everyone that yeah. takes the time to watch. And uh, our our hope is that everyone will be blessed. We usually do a song and a, and a word. And yeah. we just want everyone to be blessed. So, Thank God you bless. very much. And um, don't forget to subscribe, mm -hmm. like, and share. And we keep you guys in our prayers. God bless. God bless. Bye-bye.